Hey everybody, welcome to this month's question of the month. Uh, I, you know, I answer one every month and you can submit a question if you want to. Go to yoganatomy.com forward slash my question if you've got a burning question that you want me to answer here on video. So this question comes from Janine and it says, I have been reading about the tensor fasciolata muscle and the iliotibial tract, what movements slash postures in yoga could strengthen them. Also that they are the primary structures of self-containment in the human body. Um, well, uh, the, the last part there, Janine, um, primary structures of self-containment in the human body, I've never heard that before. I honestly, I'm, I'm sure if I read what you had read, I would maybe understand the context around that statement a little bit better. Uh, but I'm not familiar with that, so I'm, I'm going to try to avoid commenting on that part. Um, but the next thing is, um, we, we have to be careful with these sort of um, very popular muscles. Or, or in your case, you know, you've read about tensor fasciolata, and so what starts to happen is everything becomes about tensor fasciolata. How do I strengthen it? Um, yeah, don't be careful with that, you know. The popular muscles are psoas. So for a while, so everything was about the psoas. Everybody needs a stronger psoas. Strengthen your core, all this stuff. Then it was piriformis. Oh, piriformis is a problem. It makes everybody's back hurt. Causes, you know, sciatic. Oh. Everybody focuses on, on piriformis. At the moment, glutes is really big. Everybody's focused on glutes. Your glutes are weak. Your glutes are too tight. Uh, it, everybody's got weak glutes. Your jaw hurts. It must be your glutes. You know, it's like, it's, we have this tendency to do this because Naturally, our mind is looking for answers. We want to understand something. And so we kind of fall into these sort of traps. You might be slipping into a tensor fasciolata trap. Tensor fasciolata is not a muscle that lives by itself in a vacuum. If you fix that muscle, strengthen that muscle, that's not going to fix anything in particular. It lives together with other muscles. That's true of all of them. So as perform is glutes. Fixing one of those muscles by itself is not going to be everybody's solution to a problem. You have to, you have to understand that everything is in balance. If you over-tighten over or over-strengthen your tensor fasciolata relative to other tissues, you're going to cause problems, just like people do when they over-engage their glutes or over-tighten their psoas. Okay? So be careful with that. Um, in terms of yoga and tensor fasciolata, it's not the easiest of, of muscles to strengthen. It's a hip flexor, and it also internally rotates uh, the leg. So the, the pose that comes to mind the most uh, that's going to add strength to it is anytime you're lifting your leg, right? Because remember, muscles need a resistance to tighten or contract again. So if you're doing a leg raise, if you rotated your leg in slightly, that's going to add even more contraction to it. Think boat pose. Boat pose is a great one. In fact, a lot of people end up in boat pose with spasm in their tensor fasciolata. That pain that you feel just off to the side of your hip, that's tensor fasciolata because you're doing both flexion and squeezing your legs together and internally rotating it. All right? So if you really want to go strengthen it, which I, I'm not sure I'm suggesting that to you, but if you really want to do that, work those boats. All right, everyone, if you've got a question, remember yoganatomy.com forward slash my question and I'll answer it on camera.